I did a video uh, showing my new Sand Devil team. It's not this time, it's closer to like 27 seconds. I shared the showcase of what it looks like. I'm gonna show that right now. Uh, but I, I <laughs> was so, so dumb, my bad. I forgot to show you guys the, uh, the builds, the presets and everything. Forgive me, I, I was playing uh, Black Myth Wukong and I was trying to make content for my other two channels. I was going back and forth with my editor and everything. Uh, and then I wanted to pump out this video, but completely forgot to share everything. So the way this works is Aniri basically is in two turns of stone skin and Newt is going to do his whole shebang. I'm gonna go ahead and run it one more time, walk it through with you guys. We start out, Mikagi transforms, places her sleep. It's really nice because it's not a weak one. It's or like, it's not a weak hit. You can't weak hit uh, cause you know, we're the same affinity. Places the sleep. And I'm pretty sure that it is almost 100% sleep, but you know, you can still get 3%ed. Then we're gonna have Lydia place the debuffs after she go, or the, after the Sand Devil goes to sleep. Yumiko is going to place Hex. Newt does his A3 and then basically a reset from Yumiko. Then the Sand Devil is going to kill everybody, but because Aniri is in two turns of stone skin and because she is going relatively slow or like really slow, she's going to outlast being hit. So Makage will be there to automatically revive from being a position of leader. And she is going to bring in the person who is right here in position number two. Cause she's in one, she is going to be reviving the person who is nut in the following order. We'll show it one more time, just so I can finish my train of thought. So leader position, position number one with Aniri, and I'll show you guys this again later, and then Nut. So Nut does his A3 once. Of course, he can't sleep again once, you know, the, the sleep is on a one turn cooldown after Almane wakes up. Nut does his second big hit. EMHP move after Yumiko resets. Aniri's passive brings her back, and then Nut comes back. And the reason you want Nut to come back to be the one that's revived with Aniri's ability is because Aniri, she is going to fill turn meter and then reset the cooldowns of all of their skills. That's imperative in the context of Newt, who attacks with his EMHP move, his Blessed Bash, all right? So that's basically how we're going to kill the, um, the Sand Devil, and we are uh, max hitting and everything. I'm going to show you guys everybody's build, and so if you wanted to, you could try building this team. I saw this team fail once. It was because of a 3%. Also, you want to make sure that the positioning of all of the champions are proper. You want to make sure Makake is in the lead position because you want to make sure that Aniri brings her back with the passive, with Aniri's passive. And the reason you want this to happen is because you don't want to bring back Newt because if you bring back Newt, he's not going to have his Blessed Bash ability. You want to make sure that Aniri is in the first position bringing him back because that's the way it's going to work. This is leader position first and then second. So make sure Newt is in the second position. So if you wanted to replace any of these guys, because I know some of you guys are going to ask me, I don't really know. So, you know, there's that. I'm pretty sure you could use somebody like Siffy, who's a void, sleep with the A1. Basically anybody who sleeps with an A1, like Adeline or Adeline could be really good, right? I'm pretty sure I could slot Adeline in. She's the same affinity as Mikage, and she actually, now that I'm thinking about it, might even save some time because she doesn't have to transform because she has a 100% chance to sleep and she places decreased speed, decreased attack with as many debuffs as you already have. As long as you can get decreased defense and weaken, I'm pretty sure we're already hitting max cap with, with Newt. I'm pretty sure, let me just check one more time. That's 3-4. I'm pretty sure it's 308, 308, 291. The way it works, for those of you who don't know, this right here decreases incoming damage from enemy skills by 25% up to 75%. But if you have um, debuffs, the more debuffs you have, the more of the innate damage reduction is going to be decreased. And so this is one of the runs that I'm talking about where it might not be 100% or it might even take longer because some 3% thing might happen and a debuff doesn't get placed and that's where this might go sour, like right now. So again, like I said, this is not 100% and I'm actually glad this popped up so I could show you guys, but it is closer to 100% than my last team was, faster than the Ninja Aniri composition. So Mikage 
is I have her all the way out in protection gear, but that's not too important. All that you care about is her second form in which she places her sleep. So the way she is built, you're basically looking for the right speeds and a good amount of accuracy. Um, just know that this is what's working for me, but if I were you, I'd probably aim for something closer to like 515, 520, 550. The higher you go, the better. And then you want Makage going really fast. If you're wondering where I got this team from, I got this off of the Hellades optimizer, so you could always just check there. And uh, I do put her in the lead position, so she gets 80 points of extra accuracy. Uh, the entire team does, actually, so there's that. Again, the A1 is what's important. The other thing is I don't have any masteries on Makage. Now that I'm looking at it, I realized, hey, I probably should have put uh, masteries on her. I, I should at some point. I just completely forgot that she didn't have any masteries because she's performing like she has masteries. Um, so there's that. Lydia is going to be built in a hex set here, but you don't have to have her in a hex set. I just use her in Hydra, and hex is really important. Oh wait, I didn't show you the specific pieces of gear. Some of you guys actually like seeing specific pieces of gear. Um, with Lady Makage, I just care about going really fast, pretty much. That's the most important thing for me. Here are the pieces of gear. She could go faster, but this is this is all I have. I'm trying to get her in a nine-piece protection set, and this is what's what's there. Lydia, here are the specific pieces of gear for her. Again. I could get better stats if she wasn't in a hex set, in a curse set, but like that's just kind of where it is right now. And I have to stop because my cat is fucking around. I swear, dude, my cats. This entire time, they're just sitting there taking a nap, and as soon as I get in front of the camera or the in front of the computer and start talking to you guys, my cats want to fuck about. Basically, survivability and accuracy and getting the right amount of speed off of Lydia is what's important. Here are the total stats, speed, accuracy, decent right remember 80 points in the sand devil or i guess it doesn't show here but you get an 80 points that's well over what's necessary for sand devil 25 which i think is like 515 accuracy required uh, somebody can check me on that and the main thing here is that she places decreased defense and the weekend here are the masteries you don't have to copy these masteries it's mostly about getting the stats but you know they're there yumiko is going to be here obviously for the reset and i recently broke yumiko's build because i had to rebuild newt but here are the specific pieces of gear on yumiko again she's basically there for uh resetting so that nut can do his reset ability i think you could probably use kaimar okay makage transforms sleep one two three okay everything's looking to be decent uh oh, yeah, no, because, wait, hold on. Maybe, 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 maybe? One, two, three, yeah, no, something's off. I think, well, I'm actually sure not, I'm not sure what happened there. It felt kind of off, or maybe it, was, it wasn't actually off, but because it looked a little bit different than what I'm no, no, used to right now. Let's try it one more time to see if Kaimar really does end this run. Okay, so she transforms. Nothing comes from Kaimar. We get the debuffs down. Blessed Bash. Wakes up. Okay, reset. Debuffs. One, two, three. Nothing happens. Nothing happens there. Sleep. Revive. And then Nut comes back. One, two, three. Okay, so Kaimar can work. I think what happened was another 3%. Let me just try it one more time, just to just to verify. But like I said, the 3% happens um, with Lydia. Probably the debuff, one of the debuffs didn't get placed, leaving a little bit of extra health left, so Nut wasn't able to do his thing. But I hate how Polarium has that 3% thing written into their system, where it's like, it doesn't matter how much accuracy you have, you still have a 3% chance to get shit on. Okay, for some reason, I guess with Kaimar, it's not that consistent. It's either that or Kaimar's turn meter control thing messes everything up. Another thing that somebody asked me was, will Renegade fit into this team comp? I don't think so, because she only decreases the cooldown of ally skills by two turns. And when you're looking at somebody like Newt, his 
cooldown for his skill is on a um, four turn cooldown. But yeah, uh, back to Yumiko, specific pieces of gear again, speed, accuracy, this is my arena, Yumiko. And we just might make sure she's going fast and accurate. She's at 316 speed and 744 accuracy. So she's, you know, pretty legit. We open up with her Hex, or her uh, Destiny's Mirror ability. And then we move into her, uh, what do you call it, a reset. And then here are our masteries. You could always take Eagle Eye if you need extra accuracy. Newt is going to be in lethal gear to get a 25% chance of ignoring enemy defense. But honestly, I don't see a difference because before this, I had him in a broken set and he's still doing 308, 291, uh, which I think just might be cap. So maybe for this specific dungeon, it doesn't really matter, but here are the specific pieces of gear, just making sure you're getting the right amount of damage out on him. This is the same one that I use in the Hard Fire Knight 10. Here are the total stats. I also use this one in my Nightmare Hydra team. So aiming for defense, as much defense as you can get, 254 speed, 100% crit rate, well, that's a over crit, but you know, it is what it is with the gear that I have. And then 264 crit damage, 322 res, because you need a lot of res to have him function well in the Hydra. Or you can just turn off his A2. And then, uh, actually, that might make sense. Maybe I should just drop the resistance and pump up his defense and crit damage. And yeah, since I have the A2 off anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, you're going to want enough accuracy on him as well. 415 is what I'm looking for but it's kind of hard to get that in lethal gear. We're taking Giant Slayer on the T6 Mastery on offense. This is to add for more consistency with other dungeons as well. You could take Helm Smasher, but it's recommended you take Giant Slayer. The cool thing with Godseeker Neri is that you don't need a bunch of HP and defense, really. Like, you're gonna need a decent amount, but really, it's just having the two turns of Stone Skin that matters. Granted, the uh, Stone Skin does go based off of her total, I think it's HP. I think the stone skin value is off of H HP. Basically, you just want two turns of stone skin. 143 speed is kind of the sweet point, but you know you you could experiment and find out if different speeds work with you, for you. And all she's really there for is to survive, to bring back Lady Makage with the passive, then to revive Newt. Now you don't have to have her in a five star blessing setup, but I just kind of do because it's helpful. And I was using her before in the ninja aniri combo should i buy this and sorry if i sound a little jumbled or mixed up uh, i know that i'm talking kind of fast and stumbling over my own words but uh, i just have a lot of things that i need to get done i just got off work i'm busy and i've got things to take care of but i really wanted to share this with you guys and get it out there with lady makage we're doing the transformation ability and then we're going to make sure she places her sleep ability first which is her a1 turn off all other skills the only thing you care about is that she does her a1 to put to sleep Godseeker Aniri is going to, I mean, there's not really anything you need to do because her AI is smart enough to uh, bring back whoever, whenever. She's just going to kind of be there to revive Newt when he needs to be revived. Priority on the A3. You don't want to turn on the A2 because sometimes if the fight drags on longer than it needs to, counterattack is going to make it, well, drag even further. So Blessed Bash. Yumiko, we're going to open with her A2 to place the Hex. Uh, it's not really needed, but because the Sand Devil does have a counter for his sleep, you want to make sure that she doesn't open with her two-hitter. You want to make sure she's opening, opening with this move because it only hits once, and it also places a hex. It can help. And the reason you want to open instead of going straight to Dance of Time to cool down is because she's going pretty fast. You want to make sure that she resets after Nut does his move. And then Lydia's gonna place her decreased defense and weaken. Hey, he's bouncing 